Welcome to the course on real analysis. In the previous video, we have seen some examples of open sets in R as well as in R2. Here, we are going to continue with the same idea that is, we are going to find out, we are going to check whether the given sets are open in R2 or not. Okay. In the first thing, it is given that it is the collection of points in R2 such that x square plus y square is 1. When you are given something in R or R2, we may try to plot that and see what is actually happening. With that idea, we will have to imagine what happens in R3 and in the higher dimensions. Okay. Since it is given in R2, we may try to plot what is exactly happening. Okay. Here, they have given that it is the collection of points in R2 such that x square plus y square is 1. So, it is x square plus y square is 1 means it is the cir circle with center at origin and radius 1. Okay, we have a circle like this. Only this part we are considering. That is equal to 1 alone we are considering. Right? Okay, let us see. I will have to choose some point on this circle and try to find out a neighborhood of this point okay uh, i have chosen a point here it may be of any small radius okay whatever may be the small small radius that i choose i am able to get some points other than this point because only the points on this boundary is included in my set okay i am finding this point so this tells me that all the points on this boundary are being a limit points to this set because whatever may be the small radius that I choose I can find some other points of this set one okay but the neighborhood is not completely contained in the set therefore this set your set U is not open but whatever may be the point that you take on this circle that satisfies that all the points on this circle are being a limit points okay so all the limit points of okay let us try and see anything else is there if I choose a point here okay a very close to this and I am trying this way too so in that case also what is happening this may be the limit point to that Okay, but I do not have any guarantee that, uh, uh, what to say, I do not have any, okay, I have, I choose a point here and find a neighborhood, okay, this is somewhat apart from this, okay, this may, uh, the points on this set are being limit points to this set, okay, as of now, we do not have any guarantee that we have other points which are also being limit points to this. So as of now, let us hold and conclude that this is not open. What happens when we take this is not equals 1. Okay. So when u is given, let, that, let us have that x square plus y square is 1. Let us have this set to be u prime. Okay. Now, let me try. I am excluding only the points on this circle. Okay, in this case, we are considering all other points apart from the circle. This is included, the exterior, the interior is also included, only the boundary is not included in my set. Now, whatever may be the point that I choose apart from this boundary, I can always find out a neighborhood, okay, neighborhood of that point which is contained in the set. Because my set is a union of this interior with exterior. Even if I choose a point here, I may choose a very small radius. That is if this point be x1, y1. Okay. If I choose that point to be x1, y1, uh, d of x, y. Okay. That is uh, d of x1, y1 with general x and y. Okay, 
what is it going to be? It is under root x1 minus x whole square plus y1 minus y whole square. Okay. We we'll have some value to this, right? Let that be r. Okay. Let me choose my r1 to be r upon 2. I am finding this distance and I am taking half of it. And I am going to find out the neighborhood of neighborhood of x1, y1 with this radius r1. Okay. This is to be contained in my u prime. So, even bit, even if I come very close to this, okay, very close to this boundary, I can always find out some radius and do these things. Therefore, all the points on this set are being interior points. Therefore, we may conclude that this U prime is open. Okay, in the second case, what is it given? It is given that the points on this. Okay, we are given with the segments, two segments. Okay, on one axis, let me choose this to be my segment AB and let this be C comma D. Therefore, what I will get is that I will get a rectangle and the boundary over it. Okay, so in this case also. Uh, so only the points inside this rectangle is considered in my V. Now what should I do? I will have to fix a point. I will have to take any points on this. Okay, it can be anywhere in this rectangle. And I will have to ch check the neighborhood of some neighborhood of these points is completely contained in this R naught. Even if I choose a point very close to the boundary whether it is happening or not that I have to check okay for which what should we do if I choose a point somewhere like this I can always measure a distance between these two things if I measure a distance between these two things means by means of what we are measuring by means of a metric we are measuring just find the distance and take a half of it and find a neighborhood that will be completely content in this so all the points on this rectangle okay inside this rectangle will satisfy the condition to be an interior point therefore we can come to the conclusion that this is also open i am not writing the formal proof of these things by the diagram itself we can understand and if you are asked to write the formal proof that also you can do but uh, these kind of problems mostly be asked in mcq questions in that case we will we must have the understanding of checking what is open what are the conditions to be an interior point the idea that we must have writing that in a formal way is quite easy once we understand okay in the third case so from this we may come to a conclusion that v is v is open okay in the third thing it is given what the collection of points in r2 such that x y is not zero okay so we will have to identify the points when x y becomes zero and we'll have to omit that in the set okay x y is zero in place either x is zero or y is zero or both right this are the three possibilities when your x is zero what will you get when your x value is zero you are going to get your y axis when your y is zero you are going to get the x axis so you will have to exclude these two axes and collect the rest of the points that is going to be your set w okay here we will have to check let us check whatever may be the point that you choose a very close to it that using the same idea you can check here as well since the metric consider here in these cases are standard euclidean metric your neighborhood is going to be a circle okay you have to identify some small positive radius to find out that circle if you are able to do so then you can prove that this is an interior point okay so with this let us end this lecture and in the upcoming lecture we will see few examples of closed sets and we will see few uh, few more examples in r2 under a standard euclidean metric with different sets we will check whether those sets are open closed 
let us check about boundedness and perfectness as well thank you uh, for watching this video if you have any queries you can post it in the comment box thank you